While opium and its alkaloid contents such as morphine and codeine are controlled and illegal in virtually all countries, poppy seeds on the other hand are perfectly legal. And they are often used in baking. I'm sure that most of you guys have eaten a poppy seed bagel at least once in your life. What people don't realize is that unwashed poppy seeds actually contain some alkaloid residue stuck to their hulls. To be clear, the seeds themselves contain a negligible amount of alkaloid content. However, the pods, which is where the seeds emerged from, contain the highest amount of alkaloid content in the entire poppy plant. Meaning, unwashed poppy seeds will most notably contain small amounts of active alkaloids, such as morphine, codeine, and other less desirable substances like noscopine, just stuck to their hulls. And when an individual concocts a tea out of these seeds, they will be consuming unknown amounts of morphine as well as other unpleasant dangerous alkaloids as there is no way of knowing how much alcohol alcohol, alkaloid residue is left on each individual seed. For this very reason, people have died due to ingesting unexpectedly potent batches. Just check out this list of deaths. The morphine and codeine content in poppy seed tea has been analyzed by liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry, and the morphine content has been found to be as low as one milligram to as high as 1,788 milligrams per kilo. And with a codeine concentration of one to 247 milligrams per kilo, making this tea extremely life-threatening. Considering that just anyone can walk into a grocery store and walk out with kilos of unwashed poppy seeds, that makes this substance extremely dangerous to the uneducated user. And it's of course for this reason that I have created the following safety slash live experience video. A new study conducted by the University of British Columbia interviewed 83 students across the province and they found that a harm reduction message was about the only thing that kids will listen to if we want to keep them safe. This is opposed to the old school of thought where we just told kids, uh, you know, dare, don't do drugs. Well, that style of approaching the situation is similar to sex education where you tell them just to not have sex and they end up getting STDs in babies because it's ineffective because teenagers are... Well, they're rebellious, they don't listen, and there's also now something called the internet where they can log on and Google search for themselves to find out the real dangers and even benefits of some of these compounds, meaning making harm reduction videos about compounds that are dangerous like this one is of the utmost importance in my opinion. Which again, is why I create these educational live experience videos disguised as entertainment so that the kids will actually hear this message and they will learn to be safe with their use and not end up dying. I'm also hoping that this video in particular will deter anyone away from ever trying this compound as the dangers really outweigh the pros here. This really is one of those compounds that no one should ever try simply due to the fact that the unknown potency levels pose a serious risk to your life. Realistically, there's only two ways to actually consume this substance safely. One would be to have your prepared tea tested by a lab, which most people are never going to do, and the other way, which you can do yourself, which also most people aren't going to do, is to slowly titrate your dose up. This means assuming that your tea is the most potent possible, and starting at a dose of like one milliliter, and then waiting a couple hours for effects, upping it slightly, waiting a couple hours, which will turn into days, weeks, until you finally reach the point where you get some effects, and then that will tell you how potent your tea is, but like I said, most people aren't gonna do this, they're just gonna jump right in head first, and uh, that's why people die from drugs like this. It's for this reason that I suggest with great hesitation that anyone who is going to try poppy seed tea, even though I've advised not to, will instead they consider trying Kratom as an alternative. Kratom is a currently legal compound which also works on the opioid receptors, among others, that can be used safely and that arguably has more prominent, reliable, and, you know, potent effects. Well, no, it's not arguable. It definitely does have more reliable effects. It is interesting to note that most people prefer the euphoric effects of Kratom over poppy seed tea. In fact, the first time that I personally learned about poppy 
coffee CT, it was from a drug enthusiast friend of mine who had just tried Kratom for the first time, and he was excitedly exclaiming how much more euphoric Kratom was than poppy CT. And keep in mind, this is a person who had tried doses so high of poppy CT that it induced nodding, meaning he reached dangerous levels, and he said the Kratom was more pleasurable and euphoric for him. It's no surprise that soon after he became addicted to Kratom, which is why I'm hesitant to suggest it. But if you are wanting to try a legal compound that works on the opioid receptors, Kratom is definitely the safer choice here. Anyway, the following video, which was initially recorded in 2017 that I'm only now just with great hesitation deciding to release, showcases myself and Mike trying poppy seed tea safely for ourselves simply for the fact that neither of us believed it would really have any effect. I mean, logically speaking, if you're going to the grocery store to buy this stuff, all that the sellers of the poppy seeds need to do is wash the seeds, right? And then you're no longer going to be ingesting much drugs. This is a video that I was very hesitant to produce simply because I do not want any of you guys watching to attempt to recreate this experiment. However, in the name of harm reduction, I felt that it was my duty to warn people of the dangers of this addictive and potentially deadly legal substance. Without further ado, let's dive right into this video. According to YouTube's guidelines shown here, videos which intend to educate are documentary by nature and do not glorify the use of drugs, both abide by the community safety guidelines and are eligible for monetization. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs, instead it attempts to be non-biased while delivering vital life-saving information disguised as entertainment. Thanks YouTube! And don't forget to visit our Patreon page after the video for extra content and behind-the-scenes footage that only our patrons get to see. I love you, mother- Okay, so for today's video, we have Avi LSD with us again, also known as Mike, Mr. Psych Substance Adam over here, and we are going to be drinking lemon tea. Lemons. In all seriousness though, we are gonna be making ourselves some delicious poppy tea. And we found a very delectable recipe online that claims that after drinking this tea, it's going to do things such as strengthen our bones. Mmm, yeah. yeah. Helps yeah. remove nausea, you know, if you have stomach pains. Well, or... yeah, it helps uh, with the runs if you got diarrhea. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, there's a range of health benefits, not limited to the list that goes by the screen right here. Mmm. Oh, that's cool. Okie dokie. Now, before we begin, we do have to make it crystal clear that neither of us recommend that anyone watching this video does consume poppy seed tea. Even though these are completely legal poppy seeds that you can buy pretty much at any um, supermarket or right, right. bulk store, such as where we got these, these seeds are very unpredictable for the simple fact that there's the potency of them isn't regulated. It can be anywhere from a hundred times more potent between batches. Um, in regards to how to safely consume them, what you would have to do is start off with a very small, minuscule dose just to ensure that, well, to be frank, these seeds aren't going to kill you. Now, we did take Kratom today and we were researching. No, we're not including that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we mention anything about Kratom? No. Okay, cool. We're just gonna. It's out of our system at this point, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, we're not going to mention it. That just makes things too complicated, because then all the comments are like, well, your effects aren't really comparable to the average user because you have congested Kratom that day. Like, it just throws everything off. I... Fuck, I'm too hot. <sighs> Very carefully. Okay, you're you're not doing it very carefully. You're losing a lot. Nah, it's it's, it's oh, just the a... way it's sitting in the water. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Do you see this? Look at how awkward it's sitting in the water. That's strange, man. Like there, it's like it's snowing. The seeds are slowly falling to the bottom. Very interesting. Merry Christmas. I feel like I want to mention that we've actually never made this before, either of us. We've <laughs> no idea what's gonna happen. This is the first. Yeah, we, we've never made this before. This is not really something we're interested in. We're doing this for science. <laughs> or also to like bust myths to see if this actually works. Drug myth busting. Honestly, let's add the lemons. Buying kratom is easier than this if you're not looking into pills. Okay, it's gonna squirt onto my computer. I know it. Well, no one has ever died directly as a result of consuming kratom. As for this tea, you can't say the same thing. There's right. so many variables and potency, and oh, this actually frightens me. Um, I'm a little nervous to try this just because of that. I don't enjoy taking compounds that have a lot of danger associated with their use. It just adds too much anxiety to the mix, and also, it's real. The danger is real. If right. you drink Kratom, you don't really have much to worry about except for throwing up. So, There's too many unknowns here. Yeah. So with, for example, mixing this with Kratom, Kratom is not going to slow down your respiratory system, but if you mix this or any other opiate with another opiate or uh, CNS, depressants, they're going to slow down everything that's going on in your body, and at that point, well, some people knock out, fall unconscious, vomit, and die. There's other reasons to die. Uh, there was one boy that died from this. If you search uh, poppy tea, right. poppy seed tea deaths is the first thing that shows up. He drank 3.5 pounds. It's crazy. Pounds. This is how much? 400 grams? Yeah, it's not even a pound. Three and a half pounds. It's crazy. It's how much Th he this drank. whole table would just be full. Yeah, what happened was his lungs filled up with fluid and he couldn't breathe anymore. So Did he also mix that with Xanax? Yeah, he also had Xanax at the same time. Like people, Don't. <laughs> like I feel bad for the parents obviously because right. I was a dumbass kid too. Like shout out to my homie Little Peep. But <laughs> <laughs> What? I feel bad for his parents. We look so terrible laughing at that. Like, the guy had parents. Poor kid. Like, when I made that video about him, I didn't mean to insult anyone. Um, he just made a stupid decision. And it's unfortunate when kids make stupid decisions that end up killing them. Imagine, like, I say all this shit, and then this tea kills me. <laughs> And there goes psych <laughs> substance. Be such a pathetic way to die. We've, way to die. we've survived so much bullshit. And then, and then the poppy seed tea. <laughs> it's possible. It's funny. But Only it's a little possible. sip of this. It's like these seeds just happening the most potent <laughs> ever. Now, if this does work, then what we should feel is slight euphoria. You know, it does last quite a bit of a time here, eight to twelve hours, I believe. The next step is to shake it. We're gonna shake it for a total of maybe 20 minutes. What time is it now? It is 8.44. Okay, so 9.05, we're done, the shake. Shake, 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 da, 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 da. Shake, 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 da, 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 da. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Oh, I prefer this more than Kratom and all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, this is just so convenient. <laughs> <laughs> They'll also try hiding this from your parents and everybody around you. Yeah, your mom comes down. <laughs> Johnny! What are you doing, Johnny? Oh, nothing, mom, nothing, Just mom. Just making some poppy seed tea, mom. <laughs> What's that shit? Jesus Christ. Uh, wow, it's looking pretty cool. It's like Black Death. I feel like if I'm doing this, the lid's gonna blow off and we're gonna be just covered. Like that champagne bottle. It's like jerking off a giant cock. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Boy, what's the fuck? I don't want to unscrew it. Ooh, sounds delicious. I like a nice little jacuzzi in here. I, I have this really strong feeling that all of this is going to be in vain. That all our efforts are going to lead to just no results. No, man, don't jinx it, bad juju. Fuck it, we'll feel something. The poppies have tainted the lemon. If not, just do bath salts. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got some bath salts to real after this. 
<laughs> He's gonna rail some. I'm gonna boof some. <laughs> also known as plugging. Also known as putting it up your butthole in a syringe. This looks like an ab exercise he's doing. Like, good for core workouts. Make that poppy seed tea. <laughs> On the way to drinking it, it's like, oh my god, how'd you get those abs, man? Poppy seed tea, baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's the motivation you need to get that six pack you wanted. Let me just make sure that lid's on. Does that not look great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to like squeeze them all. Ugh. It's like poop now, yeah. Yummy. <laughs> you motherfuckers, you did it wrong! <laughs> Ooh, you can get in the sand castle. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> oh, Alright, screw that. <laughs> yeah, just the little seeds poured out. Disgusting! Ah, <laughs> Here, pass me the measuring. Never mind, I don't want to use that. Let's clean this up. Guys, I hate to interrupt this video, but this is something that I absolutely have to do. I am going to be releasing what I believe to be my magnum opus, my most incredible video ever. And to do so, I'm working with an animator who specializes in psychedelic simulations, in replications. Here is an example of some of his work, and keep in mind this is some of his old stuff. He can produce stuff way more magnificent than this. Not saying that this is bad or anything, but what he needs is better hardware. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be linking his GoFundMe below. Uh, he's trying to reach $3,000. He's already at, I think, about $800. And if you guys can help him get to that $3,000 mark, then the video we make together is going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be super exciting. I'm hoping to have this video done by the end of the month. So follow the link in the video description to his GoFundMe. Anything helps. And let's help uh, Symmetric Vision, as he calls himself on Instagram, hit this goal so that I can make this mind-blowing new psychedelic simulation video that I think you guys are gonna freaking love. Anyway, let's get right back to this uh, current program. <clears throat> so this is this is my half, that's his half. All right, bottoms up, so cheers. If we, if we wanted to drink all of this right away, there's about 200 grams of seeds worth in each of these cups. Yeah, it's small. Actually, some websites some, say yeah, yeah. 125 grams is the most a first timer should take. Others say 500. And others say 75 grams. Yes. Yeah, it's like, it's all over the place. So, given this data, we're not going to consume... Because um, that'd be stupid. 200 grams of seeds doses. right away. Yes. We're going to take our, oh, our urine measuring cup here that I took from the doctor's office. And I'm going to start with my first dose at 30 milliliters. This Playing is just to ensure that I don't have any kind of allergic reaction, to make sure this isn't like potent as all the pits of hell kind of shit going on here, and just skyrockets me into an early grave. Oh, it's a little more than 30. <laughs> there we go, I think that's, let's put it on a flat surface just to be super You really safe. like this stuff. All right, tell. 30. <laughs> you need 32. Yeah. Here. 30. Okay, you've got your 30. I got my 30. Mmm, yummy. Doesn't really have a smell. Yeah, no. Alright, cheers. Nazdravye. And that was at 9.22. It's got an interesting aftertaste. So yeah. It's not sweet. It's kind of bitterish but but very slightly bitterish. kind of fat taste fatty yeah i want to yeah it tasted fatty considering the dose we took we're not planning on yeah. feeling anything this is just to ensure it's not over the top potent we're fine and we decided right now to take around 350 milliliters which is equivalent to 
just a little over 75 grams, leaning towards 76 grams. And maybe we'll feel something, maybe we won't. If not, well, we'll come so back in an hour. 350? Yeah, 350 milliliters. So you feel nothing from that first go? Absolutely nothing. Okay, me too. Be, you know, I mean, something like six. So. Well, at least it means that these aren't super potent right, seeds. Right. The whole point of taking such a low dose was to make sure that the seeds we have aren't like just beyond potent. Um, so, yeah. so it wasn't a waste of time. Got no, it. it was good for harm reduction. Good, good. Okie doke. How do you right. feel about this? Good. I mean, <laughs> kind of sketched out just because of what it is, if I'm being yeah. totally honest, but eh, let's see what happens. Cheers. Wow. Oh, it tastes like poppies. It does. I can taste the poppies. Would you like some? No, it's not. There's not many poppies. You really hate the taste? This tastes like nothing to me. I don't know. There's a specific taste I don't like. I... So we should be feeling effects in an hour. Uh, yeah. See what happens. All right. See you in an hour. You know what, I, I, I feel it. It's interesting. Like my ears already feel plugged because I'm a little sick, but for some reason now they feel a little bit more plugged. It kind of... Really? Yeah, my oh. head feels a little underwater effect. It's kind of weird feeling. Um, any euphoria? Any no. Any itchiness? Don't feel any itchiness. I don't think I feel any euphoria. I feel something. It feels a little weird. I wouldn't say it's really, at least at this dose, I wouldn't say that it's necessarily enjoyable. Right. Uh, are my eyes getting small? Your eyes are super tiny. Okay. I feel itchy, but it's been coming on for the past 20 minutes. My legs are itchy. Face, not really, where usually on normal opiates, like I'd be super rich around here. Uh, slightly around my arms. Maybe tiny euphoria, but it's strange. Yeah, strange. I was trying to fix a Nintendo DS, and I got it. I got it all working. The screen turned on. I fixed. I fixed the touch screen. Like I bought a new digitizer for it. It was just a stupid project that I was doing, just because I really like fixing broken things. Mm -hmm. And I switched the case. It looked really attractive. And I just fucked it. But while I was trying to fix it, um, I was really into what I was doing. And I notice opiates always do that to me. They kind of make... It's weird, but they always help me focus a little bit. Like, I get really into whatever it is that I'm doing while I'm on them. Uh, so I was noticing that I was more into fixing the Nintendo. Even though I had busted... I don't know what happened. Um, but I feel something. I feel um, a little more talkative, actually. I wasn't feeling uh, that talkative before, so I do have that talkative vibe, which you kind of get from Kratom. Um, really, this is just missing the euphoric vibe, which maybe is yet to come on. I still feel a little nervous, though. I don't like the idea of taking something of an unknown potency. It just makes me really uncomfortable. Um, so I don't know if it's because I'm nervous or because of an effect, but my stomach feels a little queasy up in this area. Not, not too much, but it's enough that I notice it. Mm. I'm not nervous, but... That's because we're on the opposite. Like, I'm nervous for psychedelics and stuff that, I don't know, um, usually I'm not going into. Not that I have much experience with opiates, but I used to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been quite a little bit. Why? Like, See, I'd be totally... If someone gave me a tab of genuine LSD mm -hmm. right now, like 100 micrograms, I would have such less anxiety taking that because I know it's safe. I know that I'm not going to die from the 100 micrograms. Like, that's what my anxiety is usually attached to with drugs. It's the physical safety factor. And just the fact that... 
this is probably one of the dumbest things you can do if you care about physical safety. Right. It means that I'm just being a guinea pig right now for the sake of making a video, which I feel is going to turn into a warning video of, yeah, don't do this stupid shit. Because so far, <laughs> it's really <laughs> sucked. I mean, I got a vacuum, there's seeds everywhere, I feel a little nauseous. Really? Um, yeah, I've got an underwater effect going on in my head. I mean, all of this to feel a little bit more talkative, it's not a good trade-off for me. Great. But we're gonna wait. Um, if we don't feel anything else, you might drink some more. It's um, Russian roulette. It's uh, mess up one time, boom, you're fucking dead. That's it. Yeah. Unlike with, I don't know, Roxycodon or th there's no death with Kratom. That's, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, even taking Oxys is gonna be safer because at least you know what dose you're taking. Right. I mean, assuming that they're prescription based and they don't have the chance of being cut with fentanyl because if they do have the chance of being cut with fentanyl, then hold that thought. You need the. Fentanyl contamination kit. What's up, gangsta? Before you take that Zans, before you Zan out, bro, you test that shit for fentanyl like a real boss, like a real gangster. All your friends are gonna be like, wow, man, you're so cool! Drug testing that shit, yo! Oh, man, everyone's gonna wanna be like you. And you're gonna be the man with this fentanyl contamination kit because you're not gonna fucking die. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Just don't fucking die. Don't be stupid <laughs> like us. Don't drink poppy seed shit. Like, no. No. Take your pharmaceuticals and safe, average doses with your gangster friends, listen to your gangster rap, but just test your shit. I don't care what else you do, just test your shit. Dog life. Ow. Yeah, out him out. Psych substance out, boys. I'm gonna take my suitcase with me. Enjoying it? Great. Yeah, my body's making funny noises. I would say that this versus Kratom, Kratom wins. Really? Mm. Huh. Surprised about that one. Yeah, I almost feel a little slowed down actually. If I'm really focusing on how I feel, it's like... Now I know all the comments are gonna be like, why didn't you just take more? You know, take more, that's when it starts feeling good. Or that's when you start dying. Not oh, taking more of this junk. I don't like it. So, is there a lesson to be learned from this? Yeah, kids. Don't take poppy seed tea. Just do heroin instead. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking kidding about that. I guess I kind of expected it to feel a little bit like Kratom, to be honest. In Kratom, you feel euphoria. Oh, yeah. There you go, Buddha. You got your style back. Um, yeah, in Kratom, I definitely feel euphoria, for sure. Even on low doses of Kratom, I feel more euphoria than this. It's interesting how different substances affect different people in different ways. So, I decided... See. Mike wants to try more of it. I'm yeah, I'm calling it quits for this. So the total minus the six is probably around a hundred. Tastes strange. He's chasing it with ice cream. Now we're gonna do some tests as soon as I stop feeling nauseous. Hot sauces. The world's hottest hot sauces or one of the world's hottest? These are some of the world's hottest mm -hmm. hot sauces. One of the hot sauces we're going to try is, it is six times hotter than the hottest hot sauce on the show, The Hot Ones. It's six million Scoville units. Uh, we're gonna up the dose a little bit. It 
it's been over an hour since the last dose and honestly there's not been an increase in effects. I've noticed that uh, it's actually quite pleasant, calm. Uh, Adam and I are just chatting. I've noticed that he's obsessively... But it's a good thing, it's a good thing. It's, uh, he's building an... You want to that too? I am repairing a broken Nintendo. So I'm just screwing apart the top right now. I already took the whole bottom apart. It's over there in my shop. Uh, yeah, gotta fix it. 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 <laughs> At first, you wanted to give up, but uh. Oh, I was like, fuck this shit. I broke one of the wires, one of the cables. It's getting a little aggressive there, but. Uh, opiates make me aggressive, but not like physically get aggressive. I just get frustrated easy. Just frustrated. Um, but yeah, he. <laughs> We'll go over these hot sauces in a second. Anyway, my my nausea has disappeared. We're what two and a half hours in? You said to the since dose we dosed. Now it's two and a half hours. Two and a half hours since we dosed. Yeah, I feel better. It took a while. I had some ginger candies. Still got some. I'm gonna have another one actually. And my nausea feels better. I do agree with him with the calm feeling. Um, but if I'm being like completely honest, I'm really not feeling much. Nor am I interested in taking more, because I don't want it that sick feeling. It's disgusting. I think I feel happy now just because the sick feeling's worn off. Like that's what's making me happy. I no longer feel sick. It has nothing to do with this stuff, just to be clear. All right. I'm gonna continue fixing the blue hot sauces once this kicks in. I'm quite excited for the hot sauce. Fortunately, uh... Okay, so Mike had this great idea that while we're on this, we were gonna test how well it decreases our sensitivity to pain because that's what opioids do, right? You take them for pain management. So we've got Blair's Ultra Death Hot Sauce with Jersey Fury. Rated at 800,000 Scoville units. Uh, next up, we have Flashbang, which you guys have seen me consume in uh, Xanax versus Fenivit, where I stuck it on my tongue and saw how long it could hold it for, which is rated at about 3.5 million Scoville units. So it's a significant jump. However, the next one, I have not even tried yet. It is called The End. This hot sauce is rated at 6 million Scoville units. 800,000, three and a half million. Six, Six million. million. Let's begin with uh, the easy one. Why not? Easy, he says. Give me your finger. <laughs> so what do we do? We just put it on our tongue or do we swallow it? All right. A little... Well, he's got a little bit more on his. Put it on tongue and try and go for as long as possible. Just put it on your tongue, yeah. Show the camera the hot sauce. All right, kids. Don't try this at home one. You can swallow it. And you really have to be careful that you don't touch your eyes Ooh. or your balls. Especially your balls. I've made that mistake. You're not finding that hot? I can feel it traveling down here. Mm -hmm. But...
kind of want to go to the next one. So you're not feeling your tongue burning? No, I do. It's just... Kind of feels like elongated Tabasco a little bit. Maybe a little bit spicier, but maybe it just needs more time. Mike, this is significantly hotter than Tabasco sauce. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. All right, <clears throat> I'm excited for this one. Let's do it. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> That's too much. The end. Bum, bum, oh bum, shit, bum, why does this one pour out so <laughs> fast? Oh, great. Psyched wants us, uh, I don't know, to dine in hell tonight. Okay, cheers. Cheers. It's kind of like a tech. Oh, this is what you got. It's part of the pepper. I'm just trying to avoid my lips. I made that mistake last time. Yeah, I feel it. It's got ghost pepper in it. It's got reaper. Ooh. It tastes terrible. Yeah. Like, I mean, I really got a good taste of that. I can taste it in the back of my throat. It's terrible. It's beginning to... Look his eyes, they're going. This is gonna last a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> Could I have a... I'm going to sleep. <coughs> that, this ends my night. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Like two minutes after he started running out, I pretty much had the same little feeling down in the tummy. We decided we're not going to go through with this. Although, the opiates definitely did help with this. Like, barely you could feel something like this. Yeah. Overall, the experience was cool and all, but I think you could have better time with other substances. I think it was a waste of time. It was stupid. I'm never doing it again. Like, it was cool from our perspective because we were able to get a fun video out of it. Yeah. Is this what's left? Where's the rest of it? Uh, Ooh, you can see a milky nature in there. I'll show you what we're going to do with the rest of this gunk. Come with us.
but I think it is junk. Alright guys, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up and like button. And also again, if you missed my little advertisement in the middle, let's help get Symmetric Vision up to his goal of $3,000 so I can make the most amazing psychedelic trip simulation video ever. You can find the link to his GoFundMe below. He only needs about two grand more and then he gets there. Also, if you do support my channel, you can consider checking us out on Patreon. It's thanks to your pledges on Patreon that I'm able to keep going and making this content, which I just love to make for you guys. <laughs> Uh, anyway, till next time, I will see you all later. Let me know in the comments below how much you hated this video, and I will reply to as many of them as I can. See you guys later.